Hi, this is Paul Thomas at AAPS 2010 in New, or New Orleans. Today I'm speaking with Bela Jancic and he is president of Opulus. Bela, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for being asking. Bela, uh, you have developed what you're calling a virtual tablet. Uh, can you show it to us yes, here a little yeah. bit and tell us about it? This virtual tablet is about the size of 15 millimeter diameter and about 5 or 6 millimeter in thickness. Mm -hmm. This virtual tablet contains a temperature and humidity sensor that's hermetically sealed using a polymer casing which is compatible with process. It's a food grade material and it can be put in the process and in a wireless mode an embedded radio frequency transmitter can transmit humidity and temperature data in the process. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this is significant because in the coding process information about the process has not been known un until now. And we discovered significant variations during the process. We are trying to understand what these variations mean, how they relate to the quality of the product, what process controls can be uh, monitored and uh, changed as to be sure that the process is robust and maintains the quality requirements. So essentially um, you're actually putting this into the tablet coder and what happens when you put it into the coder? When we put it in the tablet coding machine with the tablets these will be rotated and mixed with the tablet bed and they will be also coded. Mm -hmm. If it is a non-functional coding then the humidity continuously maintained uh, at a given uh, level of humidity with the changes included. If it is a functional coding you will see a time-wise reduction in the humidity. When the humidity reaches a given point, then the humidity only from the coding itself is being monitored. So in a way we can determine humidity as absorbing the core and the film, later on only what has been absorbed in the film and monitored uh, continuously until the end of the process. Mm -hmm. And this uh, has other applications as well, such as for packaging? Yes, it's being used in packaging because you can include this the way the product is being packaged and in a wireless mode you can determine where is the water coming from. Is it coming from the product itself, which would mean free water mm -hmm. and would contribute to the degradation of the product, or is it coming from the outside environment, which would indicate that the packaging container closure system does not meet the specification requirements. Mm -hmm. So you can optimize the packaging and the amount of desiccant you require to make sure that the quality of the product is going to be maintained and degradation will not occur. Mm -hmm. So th this is really a very cool technology. Um, what interest have you had from the industry so far? The industry industry is very interested because this technology currently is the only one available for these applications I indicated. Mm -hmm. And the software which is related to this technology which we have developed provides the modeling tools. Uh, the software is 21 CFR Part 11 compliant which is required for the FDA and we've been working with major pharmaceutical companies, universities around the world. Cambridge University was over here to uh, start a collaboration with us because everybody understands that uh, information that we can capture from this uh, technology is uh, not only unique but also useful. Mm -hmm. Well Bela, uh, thanks so much for sharing this with us and good luck. This is exciting and I'm sure that uh, we'll talk to you again in the future. Thank you for asking and uh, we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.